predictable. My checklist every day of the week, dutifully checking off everything on the list. And then I think of my colleagues in ministry, some of whom go off to Guatemala and do mission trips. And they go to Africa and they feed the poor. And they go all over the world and do amazing things in very dangerous places. And that's, that's just not me. You don't notice me going off to Washington, marching and being arrested for civil disobedience, do you? But I have colleagues who do that because they are free spirits. And God needs us all. Those of us who are totally dutiful, who do everything just as we ought to do, should do, traditionally are taught to do, and those who do everything or a lot of things outside of the expected. It's a fascinating story, and it's a story that invites us inside it because we are asked to be who God needs us to be. We are asked to learn from this moment how we might be more fully God's disciples. We are asked to give thanks for the goodness of God and the blessings of God, the miracles of God that unfold in our lives. And we all do that differently. But just because we do it differently doesn't mean we're doing it the wrong way. I'm doing my ministry the right way for me. Someone else is doing his or her ministry the right way for him or her. And you are a disciple of Christ in the way that God made you to be a disciple and a follower. Follow your heart. Do what God made you to do. Listen to the spirit that dwells within. And so the story is about how we acknowledge the presence of God in our midst. Some of us prepare traditional meals. Some of us wash feet dry them with our hair. We all are needed by a loving God to do the work that awaits. Let us pray. Loving and gracious